I'm going to lubricate this soft tissue area so that my wax does not stick to, uh, to the tissue area. Now I'm going to want to uh, flow my wax just inside the the tissue area here. The patient has either been or has had a a healing abutment or a healing cap to uh, and the tissue has grown around that uh, that healing cap or that healing abutment so I don't want to change the way the tissue is here uh, I'm not going to bring my abutment over this tissue or my margin in any way uh, I want to have my margin subgingival about a half a millimeter. So I just flow some wax around the cylinder. I have to make sure that it's hot and flows down to the base of the implant. Best I can anyway at this point. And if I get any over the tissue area here, I can always carve that back later. Just want to make sure that my instrument goes down uh, to the close to the base of the implant abutment. Okay. Now I can also put some wax over the cylinder here, just flow a light layer. Plastic will um, sometimes cause your investment to crack when it's burning out. So I'm going to coat this with, uh, with some wax and it's also a good time to build up any areas that you need to. Um, as I described earlier, we don't uh, need to build this one up here. All aspects um, look fine. So I'm just going to coat it. Now I'm not concerned about creating any margins at this point. I can do that in the when the uh, in the gold when it's cast. I can use some uh, high-speed burrs or some stones if I want. Okay, so I'll remove the die.
I can take some of that wax that flowed over the margin off here. Or some of the wax that flowed over the tissue. And just take that back. Okay. Now I'm going to remove the abutment. I have a screw, the lab screw. Actually, this will probably be the permanent screw. I'm going to go ahead and put it in just so that uh, I've got a little extension there to hold on to. Now, I'm starting to get some formation of a margin here. And I will need to bring this down subgingival, especially on the buckle area. But uh, again, I'm going to wait until that's cast. Now, I couldn't get the hot wax to flow evenly all the way to the base when the tissue was in place on the model there. So I'm just going to fill in any little voids or discrepancies with wax. Okay, some places here I've put a little bit too much wax. And what I'm also doing is carving this back to the implant base or platform here so I filled in any voids and it's flush to the to the base or the platform I can define the margin a little bit just uh, to get a little idea of what it's going to look like. And it's important that I don't have any wax coming over the metal platform. Otherwise, that will cast into uh, to the hex areas of the implant here. We'll also blow that off with um, compressed air. So I'm going to put a sprue on it now. I'll be using a number 8 gauge sprue. I'll go ahead and take my screw out. Now I'll just tack this sprue into place using some utility wax.
trying to avoid to get any wax in the hole. If I do, I can use a burr to get it out after it's cast. And I'll just cut this off about a quarter of an inch. Now what I like to do that is important here is to make a little reservoir sprue and I just take the number eight here and just heat it up and make a small reservoir sprue and I put this near the margin on the opposite side of where I sprued at because I want gold to go all the way and fill in all my my wax and this will help and just to get it into my ring after it cools a little bit I'll just bend it down I want to make sure that the hole has access for investment and if this little reservoir is not in the way sometimes when you bend it it will crack a little bit okay that looks good Now I'm going to invest this just like I would a gold crown. It's going to be crown and bridge gold alloy. Um, ratio is really not that important. But um, I just go ahead and use the same ratio as I would on a gold crown. So what I'll do now is I will put some debubbleizer on this make sure that the debubbleizer flows all the way through the screw hole I will blow off this uh, implant base here making sure that there's no little flakes of wax then I'll put my ring on and proceed with investing this.